Intellectual Disability and Scientific Research from Diagnosis to Treatment. What is the link between genetic abnormality, development and brain function? From the embryonic stage to adulthood, genetic abnormalities modify the development and functioning of the brain in several ways, depending on the function of the genes involved. They cause three main types of disturbances. Brain malformations affecting the structure of the brain, disruptions in cellular metabolism with anomalies in the manufacturing and regulation of molecules essential to the body. Abnormalities affecting the ability of neurons, the main brain cell populations transporting information, to connect to each other, which is defined as brain plasticity. An example is a significant decrease in the size of the brain. This is called microcephaly, which restricts the development of neurons. Or on the contrary, the brain can be abnormally large. This is called macrocephaly, which is linked to other neurological anomalies. Smaller, finer changes in brain architecture are also implicated. In such cases, one or several brain nuclei, or structures, amongst hundreds, are affected during development, and end up missing or being poorly developed. Examples include the following. A defect in the formation of grey matter due to poor migration of neurons to the cerebral cortex, which can lead to an absence of folds on the surface of the brain known as lysencephaly. A malformation of the cerebellum. An anomaly in the connection between the different areas of the brain, with a defect in the constitution of the white matter, such as in agenesis of the corpus callosum, a condition characterized by the absence of the corpus callosum, the largest white matter structure of the brain. Genetic defects can also disrupt neuronal metabolism and lead to insufficient transport of necessary substances inside the cells, inadequate protein formation, lack of energetic substrates for the cell, accumulation of toxic substances. In some cases, damage does not affect the structure of metabolism of the brain, but its plasticity. Brain plasticity is essential to acquire new skills through the many connections between neurons as we experience and are stimulated by the environment. When cerebral plasticity is impaired, brain functions are restricted ultimately resulting in altered information processing, inappropriate emotions and language difficulties, making it impossible for a person to adapt to the environment. Simultaneously, the brain becomes more excitable while less able to filter information and to protect itself from sensory stimuli and strong emotions. Abnormal brain development, regardless of its origin, can lead to a spectrum of intellectual disability that is often accompanied by specific identifiable disorders. Language disorders, learning delays, emotional control difficulties, etc. Abnormal brain development can cause other disorders. Intellectual disability can be accompanied, for example, by a motor disorder, epilepsy, behavioral disorders, sleep disorders, or eating disorders. In addition, a genetic defect may not be limited to neuronal cells. Other cells and organs may also be affected by its variation. The well-described genetic diseases are often characterized by symptoms that make the diagnosis likely and ensure specific medical follow-up. For this reason, Recommendations are very important. Of course, even with the same genetic disease, every case is unique. Scientific research is increasingly shedding light on the complex genetic and biological processes of brain development and function. 
At the same time, neuroscience research is opening up new areas of exploration. All these advances are making it possible to design new cutting-edge therapeutic approaches.